I want to take you through our CIDP. This is our five-year plan. The County Integrated Development Plan is linked with the Vision 2030, with the bottom-up economic transformation agenda, with our governor's, our governor's manifesto, and also the global agenda. So all these plans are interlinked. This is our implementation overview. So we'll go through sector by sector, and we'll start by the infrastructure, uh, infrastructure sector. Given the network size, traffic composition, and projected future growth rates of Siolo County, and in particular Siolo municipality, the demand for infrastructure investment exceeds our budgetary financing capacity. You know, as you know, Isiolo gets get the list. I think it's Siolo and Lamu. We get the list from the exchequer. Around five billion. So our resources are mega. Sometimes we want we have a big plans, but you know the resources are not enough. That is why we need now to partner with the national government and our development partners so that they can fill the gaps. So, some of the ta uh, target, some some of the target infrastructure in CIDP3 includes roads and public works. We need to have capro paving of Siolo municipality and, envir and environments. Back in Kwaiyikiwanja prison, we wanted to have that bus park plus the industrial park, Pale. That land has already been handed over to us to take industrial park Pale. Let's go to the next slide. Then the next sector is the healthcare. In this sector, we want to achieve, in the next five years, we want to achieve the following. One is construction of 10 new health facilities, then facelifting the existing health facilities, equipping blood satellite center in the Seattle Hospital, completion of ongoing and installed health facilities, Recruitment of more health personnel to support the existing and new facilities. Extension of maternity services by constructing more maternity centers. And completion and equipping of accident and emergency center at the Cielo Referral Hospital. I think we have almost completed this one. This one is being coordinated by the office of the county, county secretary. Then we go to the next sector, which is water, irrigation, environment, and natural resource management. The CIDP's target is to expand water supplies in both rural and urban areas by expansion of rural water supply through sinking and equipping of 10 boreholes per year for both human and livestock across the county. Secondly, the expansion of irrigation sites in the county, e.g. the Kina, Garbatula, Merti, and Burat area, and construction of sustainable water supplies through dams, you know, like uh, the Kubikalo Dam, as mentioned by our DG. Then land and urban planning. The CIDP targets registration of new plots across the county through surveys, planning, and titling. We have done with the Garmara, Bulapesa, I think they're almost getting their title. Uh, survey has already been uh, done in Garbatula, and we'll move into other centers like Kina, Sericho, across, so that each individual has their own title. So that is what we want to achieve in the next five years. And then preparation of the county spatial plan. Uh, our CC can attest is uh, soon will be calling for stakeholders. Already uh, uh, we have prepared the plan. We take through the stakeholders. And there, from there we'll do the public participation, take it to the cabinet and finally to, to the county assembly. Then preparation of valuation role and then upscaling up automation of land system to over real-time updates. Then the livestock sector, this is our target. One is completion and operationalization of Siolo export abattoir. We have put ourselves a target of 
31st December. Because there are so many factors. We actually put, we, we, we wanted to complete by 31st of March. But there is a lot of challenges. Wakati exchange rate ilienda juu, and most of our equipment come from, um, from, uh, from international market. We have to do variation. Dollar imeenda juu kwa sababu hizo equipment zote tulikuwa tunanunua na dollars. So the ile budget ambaye tulikuwa nayo uh, was not enough. So we had to do variation. Secondly, we had problems with the exchequer releases. You know, the more the national treasury delays, then our project also delay. Kwa sababu lazima ulipe contract and ufanya nini? So we have a lot of challenges. That is why you see we keep moving uh, the opening of uh, Abatua, you know, from March to June. So to Kasema, let's put, uh, we, can, we can achieve this before 31st. Lakini to Kasema, you know, latest by 31st uh, December, this Abatua will be up and running. Then establishment of disease-free zone in Burat, establishment of food lots, across eight wards will be having uh, feedlots will be supported by the world bank and uh, also us aid walisema wamejitolea wakasema eight wards excluding e ward ya town that is wabera and bulapesa so uh, the world bank and the us aid will support us on on, on uh, establishment of these uh, feedlots then uh, vac vaccination uh, crashes, rehabilitation of livestock laboratories in Merti, Kina, Oldojiro, and LMD. We have those plans, we'll budget for it, and we'll do it. And then, uh, in the education sector, uh, in the recent past, enrollment in early childhood education sector increased tremendously due to county interventions. So, the 2023 2027 CIDP targets to Construct 20 ECD per year. Uh, we have done last financial year to find a figure around 10. You know, sometimes unapanga, then challenges come in. You know, tulikuwa na shida ya, ya drought. So you have to reallocate money to respond to help the people. Sometimes ile pesa ambayo umeweka hapa unanunulia watu chakula because they have lost all their livestock. After extreme ile drought tukakuwa na floods again. So you have to respond. Barabara zinaharibika lazima ujenge usaidie watu, you see? Recently pia unaona hii river was in Europe pia tena imekuja kuleta fujo. All these you know interfere with with our plans. But uh, this is what we had uh, uh, in our CADP to construct that 20. I think last year we did around 10. This year we'll be doing 20. In fact, tutafanya ECD pamoja na tunaweka cho na vitu kama hizo. We have this one in the budget. Then recruitment of more ECD caregivers, expanding and sustaining ECD feeding programs, ECD learning, Structural and playing material, construction of Kina and Garmara Polytechnics, construction of boarding facilities at Uhuru Polytechnic, rehabilitation of social halls, and then construction of light playing fields across the county. Then this is our now our flagship projects. We have the big five. Dr. Kuti, Alisema Wacha let the big five projects. KMTC is complete. Uh, it, is, it was KMTC, then uh, county headquarter, the market, the stadium, and the abattoir. So KMTC may be complete. Ototo may be admitted. We are doing well there. Here headquarter, 70% of funds come from the national government and then 30% contribution from the county government. Our part, this is to memalizana now as a county. Your 30% yetu, to limaliza. 
So challenges ilikuwa ni pande ya national government. That is why the office hii imekwama. But now that county quarter now has been transferred kwetu. Na tumekaa na contractor hata kama national government hiyo uh, pesa yao itachelewa chelewa tumesema we maliza si tutahakikisha tukusukumi and we are in agreement with contractor i think in the next few months itaanza tumewapatia around maximum 8 to 9 months tumalizane now market pale is at 85% it's going on well wacha wacha tuanze na market Yes, market. This is the status. It is at 85% complete. We are going well. The work is ongoing. Pesa pia tunawalipa vizuri. 15% tume baki na tutamaliza. And then let's go to the, to the next one is the county headquarter. Here it has been transferred to us. We are in agreement with contractor. Six to eight months. Kazi itanza na itaisha. Because structure mejengwa sasa na ile vitu tu ya ndani mebaki. We go to the next flagship project, is the abattoir. Abattoir is 95% complete. The equipment is up to 30th of December. It is up and running. But as it is, it is running. But as it is, it is running. So, there is a lot of money, a variation of money, and then pavements kidogo hapa na pale alafu system ya machine iko run tuangalia kwamba kila equipment iko sawa so it's up and running it's complete and then the next flagship project is uh, stadium hapa ndo because of our the governor may experience challenges here and there this is where we need your support so naja resources yetu ni kidogo Imeuma pesa yetu kabisa. So we are, the governor is in, uh, is liaising with the Ministry of Sports so that they, they support us to finish. Including kuna vitu ingine ita ongezo ongezo hapa. So we are talking with the na national government to support us on this.